welcome all of you to the 31st uh, installation. I can't believe it's 30, 31 years. And to honor our outgoing chairman, Mike Kloof. Today's program focuses on honoring all the volunteers and businesses that have supported the chamber and the community this past year. It is my honor and privilege this morning. We actually have members from the 1st Battalion, 4th Marines, which is our adopted Marine unit. So I ask that you stand as they march on and present the colors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I want to publicly thank my right-hand man, so to speak, Audrey. Um, behind every successful person, there's always someone in the wing making them look good. And that would be my little Audrey. She's a perfect fit. She's smart. <laughs> Raise your glasses in the air and give three rousing cheers to all the extraordinary super volunteers. They always share their time with enthusiastic hearts. They appear from out of nowhere to do their special part. It is extremely important to the chamber to have the support of the annual chairman circle sponsors. We really want to thank each one of you for your investment in the business community. I just also want to give a brief thank you to Debbie Newman, Debbie Newman and Audrey Frejo for all their terrific work. We are honored to have the support of the elected officials that represent our area. Will the following representatives please come forward to make your presentations and briefly say something about the importance of volunteering. When Rick was up here and talking about 31 years this chamber has been in our community moving it forward. And I say that because when we struggled to incorporate Almost 25 years ago, the chamber was there really pushing us forward and proving to those uh, agencies that we had to prove we had the financial viability to incorporate being the spokespersons at those meetings. I have of all of you, our chamber and the volunteer hours, think about how many there are over 31 years. Hundreds of thousands of volunteer hours that have come to our community through your efforts made it possible for us to grow from that $1 million barely viable surplus to what we have now. Uh, one of the key things that makes Laguna Niguel different than other places around is the active volunteer base. And I see it in everything from the soccer organizations and the sports teams uh, to chamber activity to Lions and Rotary. Um, th there are so many people who give of themselves to make this a better place to live. And uh, when you see a father coaching his daughter's soccer team, when you see somebody in business that's out with the community raising money to, for charities or raising money to help people, watch them. They excel, they communicate, they express themselves, and you can see that they are filled with a spirit that, that is uncommon and extraordinary and isn't part of our everyday life. The fact that uh, people are committing themselves to helping their neighbors is just a reflection of this country's greatness. The uh, ethic of helping the neighbor raise the barn to make the community a stronger community, a more vibrant community, and a community that is able to enrich its next generation. Volunteerism is not only enriches your life, but it enriches your community's life. Last year's re recipient of the Rusty Gavel Award, please come forward to present it to this year's winner. I think that is Rick Van Alstein. Uh, before I make uh, the pre presentation today for the newest recipient of the Rusty Gavel Award, which I'll explain in a second, uh, I'd like to uh, take a moment to recognize uh, an important uh, member of our community that passed away this last year. She was the uh, chairperson or president of the chamber in 2002, um, Chris Alexander. Chris G. Alexander, was the Laguna Niguel uh, citizen, citizen of the Year as well. There's a place at, the, at where all the presidents are sitting today in honor of, of, of her right over here. Thank you. So if you take a moment and just remember Chris for a second. In 2008, we decided to create uh, an award called the Rusty Gavel Award to recognize one of the past presidents or uh, chairman for outstanding service to the chamber. 
this year's recipient is the quietest one of them all kind of like george of the of the beatles however her generosity has not been overlooked i don't really document of the history of the chamber assisted with the event layout decorations and set up of the bid sheet and the silent auction for the 30th anniversary celebration in may and so ida i mean we couldn't have done it without you you did a fantastic job would you please come up here and accept your award this particular ambassador stood out because she is extremely reliable and does everything with such a contagious smile not only is she still an attorney she's also the proud mother of grant winstead so with stephanie winstead please come forward This year's Chamber Champion is presented to a member or members who support the Chamber with a special program. We have two ladies from Soka University who have chaired our travel program to China for four years. <laughs> Outstanding Volunteer of the Year Award is going to a member who is wickedly creative and extremely dedicated volunteer. I know Dan Abrams will agree that nobody is more deserving than the 2000, of the 2012 Outstanding Volunteer of the Year Award other than our Chamber Treasurer, Mary Smith. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> this is presented to a new member uh, to the Chamber and to somebody who's made a big impression on everyone that they've come into contact with, everyone. Um, this man joined the ambassador committee right after joining the chamber and was immediately branded as a reliable and dependable person. Though David Simpson is a quiet guy, we noticed him as this year's Outstanding Rookie of the Year. Come on. <laughs> the Outstanding Chamber Member of the Year Award goes to an individual who has gone that extra mile to help the chamber. This person actually lent the chamber, her son, to create a new and relevant website. Not only does Rhonda run a successful plumbing business, but she also volunteers as an ambassador. She's on our board of directors, and she also homeschools her children. Everyone, please give a big hand. This is Austin, you member of the year, Rhonda Edmondson, Chase Plumbing. Uh, the, the Small Business of the Year Award this year goes to a company that has dedicated countless hours for networking, for membership events, and chamber leadership. This small business is 100% invested in the community, and the owners are role models in the way they operate their business. It is my pleasure to once again present the 2012 Small Business of the Year Award to Bob and Heidi Fisher, owners of Salt Lake Business of the Year Award. As many of you know, these last couple of years have been a challenging for most businesses uh, due to the economic climate. And Laguna Niguel Laguna Chamber of Commerce is not exempt from this at all. Uh, in the past, many chamber businesses have supported the chamber by providing financial support, which allows us to launch more programs and assist businesses and the local economy. This year's company not only supported the chamber as a chairman circle sponsor at the gold level, they advertised on the back cover of the newsletter. They also hosted the 30th anniversary planning meetings. Would Melinda Guller and her crew from American Security Bank please come forward to accept the 2012 Outstanding Helped my job be easy this year. Um, as I call your names, please come forward to accept Steve Dan Abrams, <laughs> Second Vice Chair Tom Morrill, <laughs> Secretary Heidi Fisher, <laughs> Treasurer Mary Smith, <laughs> Immediate Cast Chairman Kirk Clapple, Kirk, Kirk F. Clapple, <laughs> Director Dwayne Cave, <laughs> Director Rhonda Edmondson, 
Director Merrick Johnson. Director Dan McGowan. Dr. Uh, Director Jim Olmson is not here. Director David Simpson. Director Mark Snyder. Thank you all for your commitment to the organization and your support throughout my term. Yes. These are amazing people. This is an incredibly strong board. Just so you know, I'm looking down this line, and all of these people have dedicated countless hours and are good, quality, responsible people. So you're going to have a great year, Debbie. I'm looking forward to that. But now let's swear together at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So why don't you raise your right hand? And repeat after me, I state your name. I promise to support and enhance. Promise to support and enhance. The Laguna Miguel Chamber of Commerce. The Laguna Miguel Chamber of Commerce. During my term. During my term. I will adhere to the laws of the state of California. I will adhere to the laws of the state of California. To the bylaws. To the bylaws. And to the policies and procedures of the chamber. And to the policies and procedures of the chamber. I will represent the membership to the best of my ability. I will represent the membership to the best of my ability. And above all else, I will be positive and have fun. And above all else, I will be positive and have fun. That's important. Don't forget that. So we'll just say, whereas Mike and the Board of Directors implemented programs to promote the community by producing a business and community directive, directory, having a Facebook presence, organizing a business and community fair, and launching a new chamber, whereas the high esteem in which Mike is held by his colleagues and other individuals fortunate enough to know him stands as a testament for those who strive for the very best in their personal, professional, public, and community life. Uh, now, therefore, be it proclaimed that County Supervisor Patricia Bates does hereby take great pleasure in congratulating Mike upon completion of the most successful term as 2012 Chairman of the Laguna Niguel Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations, Mike, and certainly... You have set the standard and certainly a big shoes uh, to fill. Congratulations. Pleasure, and you've done a great job. And so I just want to say thanks for all the good work you've done. We have a bunch of red whereases too, but I'm not going to read them because I know I have the last thing between you and the rest of your day. So I'm just going to say <laughs> congratulations, Mike. Good job. Members who would like to honor you with a song. <laughs> by our creative writer that we talked about earlier, Mary Smith. This is called Plouffe's Farewell Song. By A is for the Allstate agent's term here. R is for the rusty gavel newbie. R is for the letter that's redundant. I is for investment in your chamber. B is for the value you have given. E is for that easy going surfer dude. <laughs> D is the direction that you led us. E is for the extra time you gave to. R is for the relaxed attire that you are wearing and we wear too. <laughs> C is for the chairman I'm replacing. <laughs> I is for the insurance man who's finished. <laughs> Put, it Put it all together, it spells our energy. A bird that says goodbye so long. <laughs> Mike, you've done a great job leading the chamber through this past year and growing our reserves to make us really financially stable and sound. I hope I can continue your efforts through 2013. Uh, thanks, Sarah, and very much for all your hard work. Uh, on behalf of a grateful board, I'd like to present to you with this plaque as recognition of your service to the chamber. Uh, Mike, it's time for your closing comments. Everybody did a great job. Everybody did a great job. Um, it, the chamber's made up of individuals, um, and everybody did a fantastic job. Um, we had a great year. Um, I just want to thank all of you. Steve, where are you? I know you are very well suited uh, to take over this job, and I wish you well, and I know you're going to do great. If you do need any help along the way, I know you have Kirk's phone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and that's all I have. 
final program of work to pass the gavel and close this program. <coughs> Steve, this gavel is a symbol of the authority and the right to act officially <laughs> in the capacity of chairman or presiding officer. I am passing this gavel to you in front of many witnesses who allow me more time to serve and you less. <laughs> So it's extremely, I'm extremely honored being able to represent this chamber and my community in this next term. So thank you very much for your trust. Uh, as you know, my my focus for this year is really building the uh, uh, building up the foundation of this organization through its committees. Um, and so I'm extremely appreciative of my incoming board, of course, CEO Debbie Newman. Thank you very much for your time in advance and your patience. Um, so I, I will uh, call this meeting officially closed. <laughs> and uh, thanks to all of you for participating in the chamber and supporting your local business and all for coming to celebrate Mike's farewell and for the warm welcome of the 2013 board. Thank the special following people that made today's event. Uh, great, Kirk Lapple for MC. Uh, Mark Montgomery, Montgomery Photography, thank you. Tom Gersten, Reflections Video. Uh, Drew and Bill of South County Printing for the uh, fabulous invitation and program designs. Our Chamber Choir. <laughs> and the St. Regis for their hospitality.